You are watching Content with Candace. In today's video, I will feature the bags that I have never, 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 ever, never, ever used. I want to let you know that this is a tag video. This is my first tag video, you guys. Yay! I got my first bag video by the handbag housewife, you guys. You need to go over and check out her channel. She has some outstanding content. She goes into a lot of details about her handbags and gives you some very valuable information about the bags. You will learn so much. Go check out her channel. And if I've ever been tagged by anyone else, I'm probably not aware that I've been tagged. But as you know, we creators, we often share ideas and we basically, sometimes you just don't know if someone has already done that video before because there's so much content out there, guys. YouTube is so massive. Before we get into the video on today, the bags that I never, ever, ever use. I want to go ahead and let you see my handbag of the week. And my handbag of the week is the, I think it's called the Janice Legacy Flap Shoulder Bag, you guys. Uh, I do have this on the second to the last hole because I am short, you guys. I already know that I am five foot two. This handbag itself serves also as a crossbody bag for me, okay? And I do believe this bag is vintage. If I'm incorrect, if someone out there knows about vintage coach handbags, please type a comment in the comment box and let me know, you guys, if this bag is vintage or not. But this is the Janice Legacy Studio shoulder bag and also if i'm incorrect in the name of this bag please let me know that as well this is the bag i am currently carrying right now here's what the bag looks like as a long shoulder bag And here's what the bag looks like as a crossbody. Once again, this is the Janice Legacy shoulder bag, I think. The current bag that I'm carrying, I actually have my items in here right now. Okay, and I also want to share with you the handbag briefly of last week. Before I go on to the handbag of last week, I forgot to show you that this does have a zipper closure. And on the inside, you can see I have the contents from my previous Bronham Anywhere convertible. I use the same exact carries in that bag as I used in my Bronham handbag. So, and... I also use the same exact carries as I used in my bag of the previous week, you guys. So now let me share with you the handbag of the previous week. And I want to say this is my saddle legacy flap shoulder bag, but I'm still not sure, you guys. So if you know the title of this one, just let me know in the comments. Saddle Legacy Shoulder Flap Shoulder Bag. Some of these names sound similar. This is the tag that the bag came with. And it does have that signature CC on the inside. That was pretty popular back then. Glad it's on the inside. Because you guys know I'm a leather bag lover. Although I do have some signature CC items in my collection, my top preference has always been leather. I'm just going to give you an outside view of the bag. 
trying to give you a close up here so you can see it. Very comfortable, casual, everyday, don't no worry, kind of worry free bag. So if you're looking for a worry free bag, this is your girl. She does have an outside snap slip pocket here. So this was the bag that I carried last week. I am going to put the strap on now so you can see it. Okay. I usually carry this one as a crossbody. So I usually put it on the second to last hole to carry it as a crossbody on both sides because I'm sure it works for as a crossbody for me, but I am, I also carry it, double it and carry it as a shoulder bag as well. Here's what this bag looks like as a long shoulder bag. And as a crossbody, you guys. Okay. Now I want to show you real quick how you can double this one up and use it as a shoulder bag. I like I like the versatility on this one. Okay, so you want to double the strap. And I showed this in one of my earlier videos. I think I have a video on my channel on this one as well, Content with Candace. I've got over 150 plus videos, so go check those out. But anyway... And then you just come back here. I'm going to come in closer so you can see what I'm doing. You come back here and you just stick it through the holes here. And then you're going to put it in the second hole. That was the third hole. So you can do this one in the third hole as well. Okay. And then we're going to hook it here. Okay, so now you can double up the strap or you can let it flap out. But I kind of like the neat look of this strap being like this. Here's what the bag looks like as a short shoulder bag. We will now get into... The bags that I never, ever, never carried. Now, in this video, I'm going to share with you only those bags that I've never carried. Because I do have some older bags in my collection. And although I am not currently carrying those bags, they're some of my first bags. And I have newer bags now that I am carrying. I am not going to include those in this video. I'm only going to include the bags that I've never carried that I have recently purchased. Because those older bags have been carried and carried and carried and carried. So let's get into it. This is the Legacy Studio Flap crossbody bag, I believe. If you're a vintage coach collector and you're an expert on the names of these bags, please type a comment in the comment box and let me know what this bag is called. But I do believe it's the Legacy Studio Flap Crossbody Bag. This is the front side. And the back does have a slip pocket. And I believe in the back slip pocket you can fit your phone long ways this way. Or you can stand it straight up. And I mean, when I say fit your phone, I'm talking about I, I'm currently filming on my phone. 
but I do have a iPhone 13 Pro Max. So when I say fitted long ways, I'm talking about that size of a phone, a large size phone. But I know for sure it will fit long ways this way. I do love this bag, and the reason why I've never worn this bag is because of the color. I believe I sprayed this once with Apple Guard, but I'm still afraid to wear this bag. I am going to get past my fear one day soon, and I'm going to wear this bag because it will not be leaving my collection. I do love this bag, you guys. It does have the gold hardware. Here it is attached with the strap on it. And the only reason I haven't worn it is because of the color. Not that I don't love the bag. I do adore this bag. But the color has stopped me from wearing this bag, you guys. So I've got to get past that. This would be a perfect spring and summer color. Once again, this is the Legacy Flap Crossbody Bag. And I want to show you the next item. I actually purchased it to go with this. Yes, my bag has been dunked and cleaned. All of my vintage bags are dunked and cleaned thoroughly. So let me show you the next item I have never ever worn that I purchased to go with this bag. This is my Legacy Studio Flap crossbody bag, but I also purchased to go along with this. But this is my vintage coach tote. I purchased this to go along with that Legacy Studio flap shoulder bag that you just saw in the earlier clip. It has a unique metal closure. It opens just like that. It does have a giant slip pocket on, let me see, this side. And then on the other side is a zipper pocket. I purchased this bag to go along with this bag. Now, this is a coach tote. I'm not sure exactly what this tote is called, but it is a tote. And as you can see, these are in the exact same color. And once again, the reason why I haven't used this is because of the color. And I want to make sure it's completely protected and that before I use this bag that I don't uh, I don't want any color transfer to get on. And I think if I'm not mistaken, I've also sprayed this with Apple Guard as well. I think I can spray it again before I wear it. But if you are knowledgeable about uh, spraying these with Apple Guard, please type a comment in the comment box and let me know. Because I believe I sprayed it with Apple Guard a couple of months earlier. And I just want to go ahead and spray it again. <laughs> take it outside and spray it again just to make sure I don't ruin the surface. I want to make sure I don't ruin it before I carry it. So that's the reason why I have not carried it. Okay. So this is my coach tote and this is my legacy crossbody bag, legacy flap crossbody bag. The next bag that I've never ever used is my coach Chelsea shoulder bag. I do believe that's the correct name of this one. And it's a small, rather small bag. When I actually purchased this, of course, I took it through the dunking and cleaning process. I know, but guys, it's a line bag. I wasn't supposed to dunk and clean it, but I did. I saw a few places in there. And so I went on and once I inspected the bag, I took it through the Dunkin' and Clean bag and it's soft and smooth as ever. I'm not sure. I don't think this one is vintage. I think this is not vintage, but someone can let me know. They'll let me know in the comment box what it is. I don't think it's vintage. I think it's just a Coach Chelsea a shoulder bag. And it's a rather small bag. And I probably more than likely will not wear this one because it is a small bag, you guys. I wasn't anticipating this bag to be this small. And to be honest with you, I purchased this bag for sentimental reasons. 
I had a bag larger than this, similar to this one. And so I actually threw it away, which I'm sad to say I did. And because it was a shoulder bag as well, and I had gotten into crossbody bags at that time. This was like during the pandemic. I was doing a lot of cleaning out of items. And this bag was one of those bags that I threw away. It does have a turn out closure, but it was a larger size. It wasn't this. And I thought this was the very same bag. So when I saw it come up in the pre-love market, I went ahead and purchased this one. But it was not the same bag. It was a smaller bag. And so that's one of the reasons why I have not used it because I believe it's going to be too small to meet my needs. Plus, there's no crossbody strap on it. And as you guys already know, I'm a crossbody girl. So I love my crossbodies. I want to be able to, when I'm out and about shopping or wherever I'm going, I like to be able to crossbody my bags. So, and that's one of the reasons why I haven't carried this one. So this will probably be one that's definitely leaving my collection. So it does have a hang tag, but the hang tag is a little bit faded a little bit you can't hardly see it and but um it's in a very good condition and yes it did get dunked and clean but it looks great looks very good <laughs> so once again this is the coach chelsea shoulder bag and you can actually, if you wanted to, you could probably attach a crossbody strap. Let's see. If you didn't mind if this hung over, you could attach a crossbody strap here and here if you wanted to. This is the Coach Sudden bag, you guys. This is the Coach Sudden bag, you guys. And let me just show you around the bag. It does have a zipper closure. But the strap is not detachable. As you can see, I store it on the inside. I did dunk and clean this one. And the reason I haven't used this one is because it's a leather line on both sides. Here it does have two side flaps. I just wasn't 100% satisfied with the way the zipper was looking. So I wanted to take it through a redunk. It's very soft leather, you guys. I wanted to take it through a redunking process. And once I do that, I am, I am going to videotape the process and share with those of you that are watch my channel because I want to share how I go through that process to dunk and clean the bag. I already have a video on my channel, Content with Candice, um, where I actually use leather conditioner and cleaner and I take you through the process that way. But I, do, I did have a subscriber to request a cleaning process video so as soon as I get the opportunity because it's gonna take days for me to pull that uh, video together because it's gonna be a matter of dunking and then going through the process of letting it air out and you know showing you all of that so it will take a little longer than my normal videos to show you the whole process so as soon as I can get that video out I will get that out to you Okay, this does have a shoulder strap, but it's non-detachable. And, but you can, you know, actually detach the strap and put another strap on it. You could cut it off. I know some, some of uh, the content creators have said they actually cut the strap off. But, you know, it does hook together like this. A very soft leather, you guys. It really is soft. And I'm, I'm just curious if I dunk and clean it again, will it still maintain that softness? I hadn't dunked this one since I purchased it about, I want to say, two, three years ago. So, might have been two years ago. I know it was at least two years ago, but it may have been three years ago. This might have been one of my pandemic purchases. But anyway, once again, this is the Coach Sudden Bag. Last but not least, this is my Nolita 19. Of course, I know you can use your Nolita 15s as handbags as well, but I've worn all of those. So, And this tag video is about bags that I've never, ever, ever used. Okay, 
So this would be one in my collection that I've never used. Okay, I do have a black version of this that I have used. I use it as a travel bag one time. This is my Nolita 19. And if you're interested in seeing more information, I do have a collection video on my all of my Nolitas, the Nolita 15 and the Nolita 19. You can check out that video on my channel, Content with Candice, if you're interested in more information about this one. Once again, this is the Nolita 19. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And please share the video with those who you know will enjoy the content as well. Thank you so much for watching. We currently have over 750 subscribers. Yay. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.